What up, y'all? This is Flawless Real Talk, and you're listening to Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio and the place to be. You know what it is. Your host, Maloney, and I got a very, very, very special guest with me right now, man. We got yeah. the homie Flawless Real Talk with us, bro. How's what's it going? going? on, man? What's going on? Breaking Records Radio, man. Appreciate the love. Appreciate being here, man. What's going on? Hey, we appreciate you taking the time out, man. You know, uh, I know you're a busy man. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are familiar with you from the rhythm and flow, but, um, you know, you've been busy long before that. Like, you've had a long independent career leading up to that. And um, that's some of the stuff I kind of want to highlight with you today, because, you know, um, being that I feel like, you know, a lot of people definitely got familiar with you from the show. I think a lot of times artists struggle with the, like, everybody has an entry point to where people really start to, to familiarize themselves with them. But most artists have a long journey up to that point. You know what I mean? Yes, no, for sure. For sure. And, and uh, you know, you um, you weren't no small fry. Let's put it that way. Prior to the show, like you had a, you had you had some really big um, notches under your belt. So I would like to highlight some of that stuff and kind of just, you know, dig into some of the backstory. Uh, what made you you? You know what I mean? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I appreciate you knowing that much. You know, sometimes I got to give people that backstory you know what i mean and like yeah. tell them how long it's been and stuff like that so it's, it's dope that you already know that so i appreciate that yeah no doubt man you know that i i think um you know it, it's i can't blame anybody for that but at the same time you know i think i think it's important to you know really dig back and you know look look what's going on and i mean for an artist such as yourself it was not hard you know no, that's what's up, <laughs> it, that's what's up. It's not hard you because you had some notches under there man so um and you know and i, I I won't specifically highlight them right now because we'll get there. Um, so I want to start it back. Um, I mean, really from the jump, I mean, before we go back, back to where I want to start it, I got to ask, how'd you get the name for, uh, Flawless Real Talk to begin with? Uh, when I decided to be a rapper, you know what I mean? I came up with the name Flawless and the Real Talk kind of got like implemented and added on like by the fans in a weird okay. way because like, I always felt like my music was like, honest you know what i mean and real so like before my verses you know how everybody has like a signature like jada kiss has a laugh yeah like people have like a signature before they come on they'll say something um i would always be like real talk like before my verses so like it was just weird because like fans would see me in the street they'd be like yo flawless and then they'll be like real talk you know what i mean and like a lot of people like would discover me and and realize like see people doing that and then just started like calling me like flawless real talk like is your name flawless real talk or just flawless and then Beyonce came out with a song Flawless. Yeah. And she kind of buried me like in the Google searches, you know, and everything that was like I was working towards, she just came and just like it was all Beyonce. If you looked up anything that had to do with Flawless. Yeah. I said, man, I need to find a way to make myself searchable because this is not going to work like this. And then, you know, having the real talk being like everybody kind of calling me that already. I said, man, let me just, you know, it is what it is. It is, it is who I am. So, it takes people off sometimes when they see like the flawless real talk, but when I explain it, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Well, no, you know what? And that's one thing, um, you know, cause I, I think for one, an MC's name is very important. Like a lot of people get away, especially in our generation, you know, like with uh, just throwing something at the end of a Lil or a young or uh, you know what I mean? Or some mm. other catchphrase that becomes cool. But like, I, I think for one, like majority of artists who go down legendary have a, have a, have a name that's unique you know what i mean i will say all of them because yeah. you got your little wanes and stuff you know what i mean but like majority of artists that you know what i mean reach kind of like you know you go as recent as now you got drake you go in the past you got you know everyone from you could go hell as far back as melly mel to like yeah you know what i mean like like but cats had unique names to rock him big i'm Daddy actually King. in the process of drop like i'm i'm actually a because of everything has been so successful and it's been so long since that song came out I yeah. think it's almost time to like drop the real talk and just like have the flawless. <laughs> yeah, so like yeah. that's actually we're in the transition of actually doing that. But you know, for so long, for the last decade, it's been flawless real talk. You know, for that reason alone, man. I and mean, it's always going to be part of your legacy. You know always, what I mean? So always, like, man. You know, it's dope. It's dope. Yeah. I like that though, and I, I like uh, it's a name that stands out. You know what I mean? So I did want to make point of that too, man. Um, dope. <laughs> The mind is touch, everything I hold a touch can bust the gold dust. You see me as a threat, but you don't need to sweat. Cause your girl know I keep her wetter than a Chia pet. See on the grind, you on the grind, you know what it's gonna fall when you're doing bad. Motherfuckers wanna hate when you're doing good. Hoping 
that this feeling doesn't stay Getting drunk every day Waiting till it goes the fuck away Then I wake up to another day Just to face reality again Cause the buzz of pain doesn't change a fucking thing Nothing comes next, I wonder what's next I used to be atheist But now I just say fuck it, I'm blessed Fuck it, I'm blessed They say it's easier said than done So I'm working till I get it done uh.